It's not every day that you get to go inside of a secret Apple facility and visit the Apple robot that will change the world. I got to see Apple's top secret weapon in the battle for our planet's future. Meet Daisy. A new robot made by Apple that disassembles iPhones to recover valuable materials. Daisy is the most efficient way to reclaim more of the valuable materials stored in the iPhone. It was created through years of R&D. Daisy incorporates revolutionary technology based on Apple's learning from Apple's previous robot, Liam, which first launched in 2016. Fun fact, Daisy can take apart up to 200 iPhones per hour, removing and sorting components so that Apple can recover materials that traditional recyclers can't. All right, so here's traditional material recovery. This, for example, is the shredder. And what the shredder will basically do is grab these big chunks, which is still good, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but it's still not enough. And then, for example, we have the hammer help, which shreds and crushes everything, but as you can see, it's actually mixed. So once again, it's a good solution, but not enough. It's relatively easy to recycle an iPhone. You get a massive crusher or shredding operation that grab the iPhone and crush it and bang it and just throw it apart and blend it and you get with this. A pile with a bunch of different materials mixed together that they're not really pure materials. You can basically blend all those materials and you get a pile of sand, but once again, it's on pure materials. Or if you do shredding, you're gonna end up with these big chunks of aluminum, but it's also mixed with a little bit of copper, maybe a little bit with glass. Once again, on pure materials. And that's why Apple developed their first robot, Liam. But Liam wasn't enough because it was a little bit slow, a little bit clumsy. It tried to unscrew all the screws from the phone, which if the phone wasn't placed properly, it had issues. Plus it was only compatible with the iPhone 6 and you know, there's a lot more iPhones than just the iPhone 6, and here's where Daisy comes in. Daisy is compatible with 23 different models of iPhone, from the iPhone 6 to above. Is that a lot of iPhones all with one single machine? We have them all right here from the iPhone 5C to the SC to the 6, 6S, the Plus models, the iPhone 14, the 10s, the 7 Plus. And as I said, Daisy can rip apart over 200 iPhones per hour, that's 2.4 million iPhones a year. Now, before I tell you the insane process on how Daisy works, let's answer the question, why does Daisy exist? Because Apple's going carbon neutral by 2030, and they're also trying to make all of their Apple products, all of their devices, by 100% recycled material. Step by step, I know they'll get there because they've already made massive progress. For example, Apple Watch Series 9 is powered by 100% clean electricity. It was shipped 50% or more without airplanes and has been made with over 30% recycled materials by weight, which means it's the first ever Apple product to be 100% carbon neutral. Nikki, that's really awesome, but what does going carbon neutral exactly mean? Everything that you take out from the earth you give it back. And that's not an easy job to do, especially for such a massive brand as Apple. Because you gotta take into consideration the materials, the way you make them, the way you ship them, the way that the customer uses the product, and the way that you recover the product. And Apple's making tons of massive improvements to redesigning this process. Okay, so I got to go inside on Apple's secret facility to meet Daisy. She even said hello to me. I mean, just check this out. Look at this. Daisy's currently saying hello to us. Hello. You know Siri? Yes, I do. She can talk? Once you go in, we were first toured by Apple, and Apple explained us all the problems that the recycling industry has, especially for tech products. And it's the ones that I told you in the beginning. They told us all the progress that they've made with Liam as well. And then we entered Daisy. Now, the first thing that impressed me so much were these massive boxes that were full of face IDs of Taptic engines, of batteries, the back of the iPhones, tons of cameras, tons of buttons, tons of pure materials that were ready to be reused. It's crazy to see all the parts. This, for example, is the receiver. So the thing that you actually hear your phone from, these tiny little pieces. All inside of here. This right here is what makes your iPhone vibrate. Probably the most heavy material inside of, of the iPhone. This is the shiny iPhone frame. Look how many there are. All right, iPhone 6 is going to a new life. Say goodbye to this. I feel so bad. One, two. 
for my iPhone. And now every single one of the pieces is being digested. I know, I felt so bad for sacrificing that iPhone 6. I I, I mean, I still can't sleep. I, I, I hope that iPhone's at a at another place right now. So yeah, at the end of the day, Daisy is extremely smart. You put tons of iPhones, no matter if it's an iPhone 6, an iPhone 10, an iPhone 8, and Daisy is so smart that it can recognize what iPhone model it is, whether an iPhone 8 or an iPhone 10 or a Plus model. And if it's facing up, it accepts it. If not, it just turns it back down. And then Daisy grabs the iPhone and puts it in position to remove the display and the glass from the actual phone. And Daisy is so powerful and so quick. Like while we were shooting the video, it was hard to like follow it with the camera because it, they, Daisy's literally like <laughs> And then the iPhone starts getting cold. So Daisy will actually be putting the iPhones in under 80 degrees Celsius, which is extremely, extremely cold. And that's used to actually remove the battery. And then an Apple employee will grab the battery and will just simply put it inside of that bucket. Now you might be asking why 80 degrees? And that's Apple basically trying to destroy the durability of the iPhone because the iPhone cannot go over 80. So the battery on how cold it is it basically just falls out now the problem with the previous apple robot was that the robot had to unscrew every single little screw of every single model which made everything a slow process here's where daisy gets extremely aggressive and extremely loud daisy will basically grab the aluminium frame from the iphone put it inside of the machine and will literally punch the actual iPhone. and what i'm talking about punching the actual iphone i mean actually hole punching the iPhone, as you can see, here's an iPhone frame. You see those holes? It's basically a great, easy, and aggressive way to just remove the screws or any particular parts that are just hard to get rid of. So Daisy's just like, yeah, I don't want to lose time. Bam! And it's just punching the actual iPhone. And then it just ends up here. You know how you can hole punch a paper? Well, Daisy is literally hole punching, doing holes, punching every single iPhone, which is a better and a more efficient way to unscrew all the screws and in terms of recycling the actual frame it helps getting a cleaner and more pure aluminum for recycling and then daisy starts vibrating the last station is where all the modules all the cameras all the taptic engines all the little pieces of the iphone falls out and then an actual apple employee grabs every single piece and puts it in all the buckets that i showed you in the beginning okay so what can we do to help well i actually brought an iphone 4 that just doesn't work anymore the screen is cracked I brought an iPhone 8. For devices like these that are fully functioning, Apple can actually give you some cash. So let me show you how Apple trade-in exactly works. Take me to the ruins. Aquifers. All right, so we've got Chris right here, Hi. Apple Store employee, amazing human being. <laughs> okay, so we got tons of iPhones over here. I brought an iPhone 8, I brought an iPhone 4, brought an iPhone 10, this is all that I had at home. Perfect. So an iPhone 4, for example. Yeah. You can't trade it in, right? Okay. But you can recycle it, right? Yeah, of course. You can bring everything that you have that it's not working because we can recycle and it's going to be a good place. Okay, so it's going to a better place. It's basically yeah. going to be recycled, not by Daisy, but Apple will find its place in order to just not be sitting at home finding so, dust. Yeah. Here you go. That's okay. for you. And then we've also got, I wanted to show you like a bunch of different pricing options, right? If you bring an iPhone 14, for example, Apple's gonna give you, I think, a really good price, or maybe not. Yeah. Let's find we out. Can, uh, yeah. This we is an iPhone see. 14 Pro. Let's so see. obviously the price will depending if is the glass okay, is the battery okay. Obviously, the better condition that your iPhone is, the better value it will have, yep. right? You see, I can be an Apple Store employee. I can just <laughs> yeah, work here with course. you. Yeah. We'd have a lot of fun, right? We want you. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Apple basically does like a tiny diagnostics. It's like going to the doctor right now, right? Yeah. Doing a checkup. How are you doing? Is your heart okay? Is your blood oxygen okay? Basically that in terms of techie stuff. We wait. We wait. Let's see. Okay, so we, ha we have a price. Show it. Yeah. We have a price. It's in perfect condition. 570 euros. And a discount if you want to another one. So if I want an iPhone 15 Pro and titanium, I can just yeah. get this discount. Right? Yeah. What do you think? I think it's pretty good, right? Uh, All right, so just for you to get a main idea, how much is an iPhone 8, for example? For 64 gigabytes, it's like a 40. 40, 60 bucks. So instead yeah. of just, you know, having a bunch of dust at home, you can sell it and maybe get an Apple Watch band in sunshine. Yeah, yeah. And the new yellow That's color. It. That's it. An iPhone 10. An iPhone 10 it will be like, yeah. 100 more or less. Yeah. Poor little guy going to a better place yeah so yeah I'm sad this was my favorite iPhone of all time <laughs> thank you very much and thank you so much actually give me a hug <laughs>
Links are down below in the description for the Apple 2030 website, which will give you tons more information on what I just told you, including fun facts. Like, did you know the iPhones, you know the cellular line, which is used for wireless connectivity, like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and all that stuff? You know what that's actually made out of? Plastic bottles, recycled plastic bottles from the ocean. You can watch my latest podcast all about the Apple ecosystem or you can subscribe. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.